there is an FDA-approved gadget here that screens people using thermographic techniques, that's heat detection, of course, for breast cancer, and it also can pick up unusual changes in the temperature regulation of other organs of the body, and when a certain organ, the temperature isn't regulating properly, there's usually something the matter there. Now, the big advantage to this type of test is it allows us to spot malfunctioning organs way ahead of when it would actually show up in symptoms. The disadvantage is it doesn't tell us what's the matter with that organ. It just says there's something the matter with the pancreas. Look at that. The temperature fluctuations aren't right. They're not like what nature usually does. But it doesn't tell us whether it's, let's say, diabetes or low blood sugar or maybe not enough pancreas enzymes or in some rare instances it could be pancreas cancer. That's rare, but it could be. It just says go look for what the problem with the pancreas is. What we use it mostly for, though, is the breast screening, because if it tells us everything's okay, the odds are extremely high that it is, and if it tells us there's suspicion for cancer, unfortunately there frequently is. So again, it's FDA approved for screening for breast problems, and it can be used for screening for other organ function. Um, and what is that? Is that it's called, it's called, it actually has, that machine has this really weird name. It's called computerized regulation thermography. Thermogram just meaning temperature measurement. Regulation mean, meaning whether that temperature is under regulatory control of the body or not. And computerized because the whole thing's read by a computer. That's all. So it gets called CRT.